what's up you guys Kelsey Bree here in today's video I'm going to be doing an updated video for my first college video on my youtube channel called colleges of applied to so in today's video I'm going to be doing an update like I said it's going to be the college I've been accepted to so let's get started say hi say hi so in my previous video, I talked about my top seven colleges that I would like to attend. So now I'm going to give you guys an update. Okay. So just chill, Carol. Okay. So my first college is University of Oregon. So it's one of my dream colleges that I had told you guys about. So this college, they have my dance major. So they offer dance. And that's what I want to major in. Second, they have a great dance and cheer team. And third, the campus is so beautiful. So this is why this is one of my dream colleges. Now the second one is University of Nevada, Las Vegas, aka UNLV, which is located in Las Vegas. Hi, Dre. Hi, Dre. Hi. Hello. Hello. What do you want? You're over here whining. Actually, since you are here, you got into Seattle Pacific University, right? Yes. And guess what? I got into Seattle Pacific University. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to point that out. So we might be going to the same college as each other. So. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, let's get back on track. So I was talking about UNLV. So they have a great cheer and dance team. They do have my major, which is dance. Uh, basically, I live in Hawaii, and most of the Hawaii kids who live here always go to UNLV because it's similar, similar like environment. So that's why I applied there because I already knew some people who were going to go there. So at least I won't be alone, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I got accepted there, really excited. Now my next, which is a dream college, is University of Arizona. Um, so UNLV and University of Arizona are party schools, but I'm actually not the party type. I didn't really apply to those schools just because of that, because I, again, like I said, I'm not the party type. But I do like University of Arizona because they have my dance major. They also have um, the cheer and dancing that I'm really interested in doing and continuing like as an activity. And yes, I also love the campus. The campus is really pretty. Um, when you apply to colleges and you're looking into them, you should actually definitely look into how the campus looks. It's I'm not sure really why, and I mean, girl, you want some good Instagram photos, first of all. Mm -hmm. But you should really consider that. Hi, Dad. What's up, baby? Wow. Actually, let's take an intermission. Would you like to talk about the college you've been to? Oh yeah, I would love to talk about the college I've been to. Okay. Been to. Okay, go ahead. I went to Fort Valley State University. Uh, Fort Valley State is in Fort Valley, Georgia, Peach County. I went there uh, from '95 to '99. Uh, I didn't finish there though. I ended up going to Columbia College to finish my bachelor's degree in criminal justice. But uh, I learned a lot there. Actually. The amount of stuff you learn, um, it's good to get your education, but a lot of stuff that you learn, it won't be in the classroom. It's to be, it, you will learn more about yourself, um, being autonomous, um, being responsible, time management, and how the world really works without your mom, dad, or your legal guardian providing stuff for you. So I think that you will learn your education, you will get your diploma, you will get your bachelor's degree, your certification, whatever you want. However, um, when you go to college for your own, um, by your own self, by your lonesome, that's when you learn about who you are, uh, what, you, what you will and will not stand for, what you will and will not put up with. And guess what? You learn how to get yourself out of trouble. Not even, find yourself in the, not even put yourself in a position to be in trouble. So um, that's where I learned most about going to college. Yes, your education and you get your diploma in whatever your um, degree field is. However, you learn more about time management, being responsible, managing your money, who to hang out with, who not to hang out with, who to surround yourself with. Do you want to be hanging around people who um, don't have good intentions, who don't want better for themselves? You just want to party, drink, and all the other stuff you can get into? Or do you want to go still have friends, still socialize, but still at the same time, Get your work done, get in and get out, and go on about your life. That's all I got. Thank you. Wow, round of applause for that answer. <laughs> 
Okay, so like I was saying, like you and I'll be in the University of Arizona. I am not the party type, so that is not what I will be doing. Um, yeah, so moving on to... Okay, moving on to University of Southern California. Um, so this is a school that I did not get into, but I wish I did. But when I was explaining this, this is a prestigious school and it's very hard to get into. So I'm not as bummed, but I'm so happy because I still got into two of my dream colleges. That's crazy. And most people honestly kind of don't get into their dream colleges because either they're lacking in some type of, um, you know, status or category or whatever you want to call it. But I'm still actually happy. So at USC, the reason why I wanted to go here was because of their dance program. It's one of the it's one of the top 30 best in the U.S. And I was like, wow, like I need to take that opportunity and try to get in. But I did it, so I'm not bummed. But yeah. Okay. Um. Next college is Seattle Pacific University. That's when you guys saw my brother. So yes, he goes there. So I might go there. But at Seattle, they don't have dance, but I chose nursing as my major because that's something I was looking into and I kind of want to help people like fix their health and all that. So yes, I applied for nursing. They do have a cheer and dance team, which is something I want to continue doing. And yes. So next is Mills College. This school is an all girls school. They do have the major dance and that's what I picked. They do have a cheer and dance team, but it's called the Spirit Squad where they just go to games and they just cheer and entertain the crowd. So that's what I want to do. And yeah, best thing about the school actually is they're, they're incoming freshmen, the new students, they're able to dorm your first year by yourself, like a single room. I think that's really awesome, really cool. Because most colleges require their freshmen to dorm with someone, have a double, you know. I've applied to more colleges in the span of two months. So I have applied to University of Utah. Now this is located in Utah. And they have my major dance, which I really like. It's again, one of the top 30 best dance major programs in the US. So I was like, I need to try out. I need to at least try do it. And then they do have cheer, they do have dance. And yeah, I do have to double with someone my first year, but I'm not bummed out about that. So yeah, and I did get accepted to it. So the only thing I have to do now is just audition for their dance program. Yes, okay. And well, next is Southern Methodist University. So this school is located in Texas. They do have a dance program, but I didn't choose dance there. I chose nursing with them because I felt like their nursing would be better and I would learn more there. But then again, SMU, they do have, it is one, of, it's considered one of the best dance programs, like top 30 in the US. But for some reason, I just said no there. No specific reason at all. When I was looking into it, it's not because I didn't like the teacher or how they run things. It was just because I just chose not to. So yeah, I got accepted there but I won't be attending in the fall. I'll have to attend during the springtime or summertime, but I don't wanna to have to wait another additional four or five months for me to go to college. I would rather just go in the fall, like how I would, how you would normally go if you were in school, if you were elementary, middle school or, or high school or so. I wanted to continue that train. Lastly, it's University of San Francisco. So I applied to the school. They do have my major, which is dance. They have a cheer team and dance team. I make sure that all of my colleges have like the cheer and dance team because of course that's the thing I want to do. Um, I applied there, I did get in, but again, I would have to like wait an additional four or five months and that's just not what I want to do. So yeah. Okay, so now you are up to date on my college status. Okay. So now I kind of want to talk about the little packages that you get from these colleges. So I did get a package from University of Utah and University of Oregon. Um, sorry, I'm kind of speaking though because my family's in the other area and I'm not trying to be too loud. So let me just sit closer to the camera, I guess. Maybe not because my face. Okay. But I did get some PR packages from two of the colleges that I'm looking into going to, which is Oregon or Utah. And... I can't show you my youth. Wait, let me go get something. <laughs> so I did get like PR packages from my colleges and it was a box, but I only have this. I don't know what happened to the other stuff for the box itself that it came in. But for Oregon, they literally had a box with my name on it. So you know it was custom. So yeah. Um Utah sent me one. I lost the box. But within it they gave me like a lanyard. They gave me like, you know, some stickers. And they also gave me a a mini speaker that had the U on it. Yeah. 
something like that. So if you guys have any college questions for me, I will be gladly to answer them. And you guys are probably wondering which college I'm going to attend. I won't be letting you guys know anytime soon. You guys will probably figure out which college I'm going to when I do like the move-in day. When I need to obviously move in and put my mattress, my clothes, buy my school supplies and all that fun stuff. I'll most likely do a vlog on like buying school supplies. And then I'm going to also vlog my move-in day. And then, you know, um, and then a dorm tour. So yeah, you'll probably find out then, maybe in another month, next month, which is August. So yeah, but if you have any questions for me and you are a junior and you would like to know more about the colleges I've applied to because maybe these colleges have you're interested in, then I'll be glad to answer them down below. If you also have any more YouTube video ideas or tutorials that you want me to do for you guys, then I have no problem and yeah. So thank you for watching this YouTube video. Um, all my recent uploads and social medias will be down in the description box. If you stuck to the very end of this YouTube video, I greatly appreciate it. All